Hello again, and welcome back, everybody, to another fine episode here at the Artist's Corner. Uh, your friendly illustrator, Mr. Dave Joyner, here, trying to bring you another tutorial. So, in our previous episode, we had this guy, the football player. We finished him up as a as a example of uh, coloring with value. And then, in the comments section, I received a request from a friend of mine, Joanne. Hey Joanne, and I'm going to go ahead and give you, this is Joanne's, uh, this here is where, this is Joanne's uh, YouTube channel, and I visited it, it is pretty out there, if the, there is some bad language, but other than the bad, a little bit of bad language, it's an interesting place, there was a little bit of a, uh, a feel to it it felt a little bit like the talk if any of you have ever watched the talk or or seen that show it felt a little bit like that uh, but uh, it was interesting and uh, anyway she requested that I do an episode uh, here where I gave you a list of all the tools I'm using so here Joanne is my list starting with the good old regular number two pencil Dixon Ticonderoga. I've got an adjust. I have an adjustable rubber uh, holder here. I use that, and I use this primarily for doing doodles and sketches. And I come in and I and I do my doodles and sketches with with this regular pencil. The next thing I use is the 055, 05 millimeter mechanical pencil, which looks like this. This is actually my preferred uh, drawing tool. I prefer this uh, above the others. Uh, it keeps a nice sharp tip. After that, I use the number 2H, 2H, uh, green, well, they come in different colors, but this is the 2H drawing pencil, also a drafting pencil. After that, I'm using the Micron brand, Micron brand, Illustration, uh, illustrating ink pens. These are waterproof and they come in a pack of uh, one, two, three, and four. Uh, I think there's larger packs than that, but this is primarily the inking coloring tools I'm using most of the time for doing this kind of stuff. Anyway, so we've got uh, the ability to come in and create all kinds of stuff with that. The next time I'm using is the uh, Sharpie. I use regular old Sharpies, this size and this size. These are great for fill-in work. And I can come in and uh, nice big pen. I can fill in a whole area. And create interesting shapes and designs and then if I don't like something or if I want to come in and I want to do uh, other kinds of work I, can, I got this little bad boy here sometimes they like to get jammed up on you but this is a black this is a Bic whiteout pen now this is a Kind of a bummer right now because it looks like my big pen is uh, clogged, but the rough idea is still that you can. There we go. So you come in here and you can uh, you can adjust, you can change the shape of things, you can uh, really screw with the not screw with. Well, anyway, you get the idea. You can uh, come in here and uh, change what you've already done and add uh, detail to it. So, make sure to clean your tip. Wipe it off. Make sure to keep it in the thing. These are expensive. Anyway, uh, the next thing on the list is traditional brushes. These are traditional inking brushes. And this is the something I rarely use. I can use them. Uh, but um, I just don't have a very good room or place to use these. Uh, Sable uh, 01, 02 brushes, and then we've got uh, white out eraser. I mean, a white eraser. I always use a white eraser, 
I never use pink eraser. And then in regards to paper, my friend, I use, uh, this is regular old printer stock. And I use these uh, because it's cheap. <laughs> and, uh, and then if I'm not, if I'm doing something and it's for a friend, or if I'm doing something and it's for a, a, a company or, or for a professional uh, situation, I use this right here. I don't know if you can read that. This is comic book artboard. This is one of the kinds of stock I use. It's a cold press. This is cold press. And it's like, it feels, it, it has a nice matte finish. Cold press. Ink. You can ink on here. You can... You can do all kinds of stuff to this, and it won't hurt it a, a bit. Uh, you can watercolor on this. Anyway, so that is what I use uh, in my stuff. Now, I hope that answers your questions. And something I also wanted to talk about in this tutorial. I do my drawings for you guys, and I'm working in a time frame that's approximately, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes. The time frame of which I use to draw a tutorial is extremely limited. I don't uh, know how many of you out there know exactly how long it takes to, to draw a piece of art, but um, I've decided lately that it's going to be a good idea to start changing the, the, whole, I, the whole method of the way I do these things. So I decided that I'm going to go ahead and try another method on you for this next tutorial so you guys tell me what you think and I will uh, anyway I will uh, I'm gonna try this uh, new idea for doing tutorials uh, here on this next episode so I thank you and you guys have a good day and I will see you next time.